Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks, today a special on the coronavirus. With the help of the biodigital human, I'm going to be showing you why this virus is so contagious. What you're looking at here is the world's first 3D interactive visualization of the coronavirus. This is the current coronavirus that we're experiencing, SARS-CoV-2, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. This is the virus that causes COVID-19, or Coronavirus Disease 2019. And it's a coronavirus because of these spiky little projections that if you look at them under an electron microscope, look very much like a crown. Crown in Latin is corona, hence coronavirus. And it's these very proteins themselves, these spike proteins, which if you zoom into them, you can see that they look like little spikes hanging off the side of the virus. They could be the clue as to why this virus is so contagious. A study was done recently comparing these spike proteins on the current coronavirus with the spike proteins on the coronavirus from 2002-2003. And it was found that these new spike proteins on the coronavirus bind, are up to 20 times more likely to bind certain receptors in our airway epithelium, so the lining of our airways, than the virus, the equivalent ones from the virus in 2002, 2003. So essentially, this is a stickier virus. It's more likely to bind to certain receptors in your airways. And I just want to show you what happens once it binds. It binds and then it enters the cell. And the whole point of a virus is that it wants to replicate itself again and again and again. And here's the inside of a virus. Here's a window into the inside of the virus. And here, this kind of horrible wormy-like structure. This is the nuclear capsid protein, and it holds uh, viral RNA together. That's the genome or the genetic material needed for this virus to replicate again and again and again. And that's how they go and attack other cells in your body. But the great news about this, and if there's one message you take away from this video, it's that the casing in which this virus is held, it's a very oily and very fatty casing. And immediately on contact with one very simple thing that everyone has, soap, it is destroyed. So when soap touches that, it destroys this viral envelope. The virus cannot replicate, and therefore it cannot propagate. So by washing your hands with soap, you've probably been told this a million times, but keep on doing it, you are preventing the propagation of this virus. I cannot emphasize that enough, to wash your hands with soap. This virus cannot survive under contact with soap. What Biodigital is doing is we're uploading all of these to coronavirus.biodigital.com, this and we'll, upload it. we'll be uploading more content like the pathogenesis of the virus, so how it actually attacks our cells, transmission, symptoms, even targets for treatments, in the hope that you take this, it's freely available, and you share it with everyone and you educate everyone. We hope that by educating people that you will reduce the fear of the unknown, you'll reduce virus transmission, and you'll increase early symptom detection. Please share this with your loved ones and friends. This is Dr. Tom Talks, and this is the coronavirus.